Last few weeks, we've been going through these different earnings stories from Canadian companies, all of them navigating through COVID-19 in very different ways. This week, when Sleep Country Canada reported their results, the market responded in a big way. The company calling it the strongest third quarter they've ever had. The mattress retailer saying profit was up by 50% during the quarter and same store sales up about 14.5%. Dave Friesman is the CEO of Sleep Country Canada, and he joins us with more on the quarter. Uh, nice to have you back with with us here on BNM Bloomberg. Um, give us a sense on, on this March through 2020 and what it has been like for the business. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, it's been a very uh, interesting year to say the least. You know, Q2, our stores were closed for uh, more than half the quarter. Uh, we, um, you know, our, our e-commerce ramped up significantly. We included uh, a new chat line for people to get expert advice by talking to our sales associates, and we really benefited well from that. Of course, our ND business was very strong, um, and so we felt like we really handled Q2 as well as we could. Uh, Q3 has been a very strong quarter for us, as uh, our results show, and um, you know we're still making up ground from what was lost in Q2. Uh, and uh, you know, again, we're not 100% sure at this point in time whether we're taking share because that's more of a lagging indicator. But all of the indications we have is that we're you know we are doing a very strong uh, push in the market, and it's paying off. Well, Dave, maybe we can dive a little deeper. I mean, you talked about that conversation, that online conversation, and, and, and what goes into that in securing the sale? And the mattress business is, is a really interesting one, and you, you alluded to ND, which obviously there has been a willingness on the part of Canadians to go online and buy, but we're traditionally talking about you go into the store, you see how comfy the mattress is. What, what is working when it comes to the online dialogue that has fueled the e-commerce uh, sales? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, the world is shifting more towards e-commerce, especially during the pandemic. Uh, and I think one of the one of the things that's kind of frustrated us over the last couple of years is we've still been considered just a bricks and mortar retailer, mm. uh, whereas we have been building our online infrastructure with Endy, with Sleep Country, with Dorme Vu, with other partnerships that we have. And uh, I think it's becoming no, more known now that we are not just a bricks and mortar retailer. We're the strongest bricks and mortar retailer, but we're also an omni-channel retailer and a strong omni-channel retailer in all fronts. And so, you know, in the Q3, just over 18% of our total revenue came from online. And what that means is we're very strong there. It also, though, means, to your point, that 82% of the people, even in a pandemic, want to have the in-store experience. And so our main goal is to make sure that we have the best platform for our customer wherever they want to be. And I think we're starting to get credit for that. Dave, we talked a lot about working from home, being at home a lot more, it means you kind of look at everything right in front of you, which would include literally your bed. Has that been, has that been a very real thing? Are people buying mattresses right now because they're spending more time at home? Well, I think in general, people are investing more in their house on a lot of fronts, and I do believe the mattress would be benefiting from that. I also think that people more and more are equating wellness with a good night's sleep, mm. and I think that's an important factor as well. And let's face it, we're all spending a lot of time thinking about our wellness, whether it be physical and mental health as well, and a good night's sleep can be a very big driver in benefits on those. So there are factors happening in this COVID world that benefit sales of your company. And you talked about being able to execute online, which is really big. But, you know, Dave, one of the big themes we've been talking about this morning is how many small businesses in this country are under pressure and how restrictions or lockdowns influence fitness centers or restaurants or bars. And a lot of times we're talking about retail operations that are pretty close to one of your stores, might be right next door to one of your locations. How do you feel about this environment we're living in, where on the one hand, we've got to get COVID under control, but gosh, there are a lot of small businesses that are struggling around the country right now. Very much so. And uh, it breaks my heart. It breaks all of our heart uh, for all of that's going on. And I do think there needs to be a good balance between getting COVID under control, like your words were, and making sure that we're doing the best and being um, uh, doing it with a good balance. And I think you know, that is a day by day uh, example. I know at Sleep Country every day we talk about making sure that we're, our people are safe, making sure that we have great protocols in the stores, making sure we have great protocols for our drivers and our helpers and for the very few people that are coming to our office. So yeah, it's a very top of mind and we spend a lot of time on it at Sleep Country as well.
All right. When you guys reported your results this week, we also talked about the dividend plans and, 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 and the plan to reinstate, which early on during the pandemic, we did see a number of players say, look, we got to be cautious with our money. That includes being cautious with dividend payments. Walk us through the conversation that takes place with management and the board on things like a dividend. So, you know, early on, it was really a very easy decision because we were going into an, uh, an environment we had no idea what it was. And we've been we've been a very prudent company for 26 years and we will continue to be. Um, and so at this particular time, we assess, um, you know, we look at a lot of different factors. We look at how our business is performing. We look at how we've been able to manage cash through this, even when our stores were closed. Uh, you know, we look at, frankly, case counts. We look at vaccine information to try and do a good assessment of what the best opportunity is. And we feel that based upon all those factors, reinstating the dividend was the right decision at this point in time. Okay. Um, give us your outlook when it comes to the overall retail landscape right now. Uh, it's not going to be the holiday season as normal, but I think there is still this expectation that the numbers, when, when all is said and done this year, might be stronger than what some people thought just because of the shift in spending. Maybe someone comes out, they buy a mattress. Maybe they go to a home improvement store to buy something. Um, that they wouldn't necessarily buy somewhere else right now. What, what are you thinking about over these last couple of months um, for the retail sector in 2020? Yes, well, so for Sleep Country uh, specifically, uh, the leading up to the holidays is not one of our strongest times of year because we're not quickly thought of as gift giving items, which I think we should probably work at changing. <laughs> um, but, uh, but the fact is, you know, we do have very strong Black Friday and we have strong Boxing Week. But other than that, it's not a particularly um, a strong, you know, it's not the most high traffic time of the year for us. Um, but having said that, like you say, people are investing in their homes, they're investing in wellness, and I think we've been benefiting from that. And uh, and so our anticipation is uh, that we will continue to take market share as we're going to be uh, very strong in the market. Uh, we are still making up from some pent up demand, uh, you know, that of what was lost in Q2. And, you know, we may be pulling some sales forward and we don't know what is what on that. But uh, but we are we plan to continue uh, focusing on all three of those. Dave, good to get your insight. Thanks for stopping by today. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. That's Dave Friedman, the CEO of Sleep Country Canada, joining us with their experience as a retailer navigating through COVID-19.